the office. So this guy here, we got a blinky green light. So it's a Daikin mini split. So hit cancel, hold it down. And we just hit, hit keep hitting cancel until we get a long beep. E7. So that's going to be an issue with the outdoor fan motor. And this is a two head mini split and we're getting the same code on both. So onto the roof. All right, well, we're on the roof. It's not spinning. Yeah, so we might actually have a bad fan. Let's see. I reset the unit and that cleared the code, but uh, I noticed it didn't come back on. So that's loose. I gotta see if it's broken or if it's just loose. It's probably broken, but we'll see. Loosen. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get that off. I took it off and it looked like it wasn't broken or anything. Um, so I went ahead and tightened it down. As you can see, it started to spin. But uh, the shaft has a flat spot on it. And the fan, like inside the fan, the hole, it doesn't have a flat spot on it. So yeah. And we're back on the roof and it's snowing. So we're back on this one. This is the one with that uh, fan blade where the uh, middle part got uh, reamed out or I don't know, but basically it just, I think it got stuck. Um, I think it got stuck, like some ice got it, got stuck and it basically the shaft just like bore out the flat spot in the thing. I'll show you the difference once I get the fan blade out. So anyway, uh, here we go. All right, so first things first, we got to take this thing off and it'll also take the cage off. So there's four screws, one in each corner. So I'm going to take those off. This will come off, the cage will come off, then we'll take the fan blade off. I'll show you the difference and then we'll pop that one back on, put it all back together. Okay, so we got all the things off, that came off. So what we do now is we take this and we pull straight up and it comes right out. And when you're doing this, make sure you kill the power. So normally this... You can just, you know, the fan blade's going to hold it in place, but um, we can't do that. So I'm going to actually use a uh, wrench or what do you call it? Some channel locks to grab the back of the, f the uh, to grab the back of the um, shaft. That way it doesn't spin when I loosen this. So see, that's how I'm doing it. And then I'll spin it because if I don't do this, the whole shaft will just spin out because the middle, it bored out the middle of this uh, fan blade. So. That, and that, and because of that, it eventually unscrews itself and then gets stuck again. So, yeah. So I need another hand to do this. So, yeah, we'll be back once it's off. So I got it off. And you can see here, see how that's flat right there? And then the rest of it's round. If you look at the old one, see how it's completely round? So there should be a flat spot right there. Because usually you don't have to, you know, put your your channel locks to hold that because the flat spot will keep it from spinning when you tighten it. So this new one, you'll see in a moment once I get out of the box that it uh, has a flat space. All right, so here's the new one. You can see it's got that flat spot right there. And then we have our old one, which is completely rounded out. So because of that, the shaft would spin, you know, spin inside of it. So I think what happened was it probably got iced up, got caught, and the motor just spun and just you know, just like board it out. Um, and then people have been coming here and just tightening it instead of pulling it off and checking it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. So I got the flat side up, okay? Now, this is the front of it. This is the back. You can see it's got an arrow to tell you where the flat side is because the, the end is round. So the flat side's in the back. So we'll go ahead and line this up. And there we go. And then we'll go ahead and put this nut back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got it on all the way though, before I tighten it down and make sure it's straight. But because it's got that flat, I don't have to put a wrench on the back of it. Now you can see I can actually turn it without having to put a wrench on the back. I just have to hold the fan, the blade in place to do it. See? In fact, I can just spin it. So anyway, we're gonna get that tightened 
And then we're gonna put the cage back on. So I'll show you how to do all okay, that. So now I got it fully secured. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't hit nothing. Cool. All right. So this cage here on the back of it, it's got these little clips. See? And these clips go in those holes. And that'll hold it in place until you get the screws back on. Just like that. See? All right. And then now the hard part, so we gotta put, this is the low ambient thing. This, we basically just line it up with those holes there and then screw them in. Now this part's very difficult. Uh, and then these veins are always this way. I've seen people put it this way, uh, like that. But that makes no sense because then all the snow, it's just gonna capture all the snow and block it. So yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna need two hands for this, so we'll get that put on. So watch this magic, it's gonna go back on. And there, it's back on. So I'm gonna go and turn it on and make sure everything's working. All right, so she's back up and running. I don't know if you can see that. It is running. And it's nice and silent. So we should be good to go. So if you ever come across a situation where every time it snows or gets ice on it or whatever, it's loose and you end up having to retight it, take it off and make sure that it hasn't bored, you know, that the shaft didn't bore out the middle of the hub. Because otherwise it's just going to keep happening. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.